Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I want to talk about how to become a junior front-end developer. And here I'm addressing specifically the people who, you know, you don't have any experience in like tech, you want to get your first uh, tech job. And my goal with this video is really to show you how to learn the skills that will get you hired, the most in-demand uh, skills for front-end developers because there are different you know skills there are different types of front-end development jobs I really want to present to you the path that is the shortest I am a full-stack developer I've been a full-stack developer since 2017 uh, I've actually been in job interviews you know interviewing developers for the companies I've uh, I've worked at and so I know exactly what you know we're looking for and the types of things that you should actually learn in order to get hired. I have a master's degree in computer science, but you don't need to have a degree in computer science. And the reason why I'm saying this is because all the companies that I've worked at, every single company that I've worked at, actually lacked developers. So we were always waiting for you know good developers to apply, and very often you know the the people who would apply they didn't have you know the right skill set. You know maybe they took a few programming courses like in high school, but they didn't actually know front end development. So if you actually go through the steps that I'm about to explain, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a front end developer job at some point. You know, obviously you're not going to maybe, you know, if you apply at like, uh, at like Amazon or Apple or stuff like that, you're probably not going to get the job there. But, you know, you're going to get a job as a front end developer because there is a lot of demand for those. So I'm going to mention a few things in this um, in this video, and I'm going to include all the links in the description box of this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is deciding what type of front end developer you want to become. And the reason why you have to decide what type of front end developer you want to become is so that you know what to focus your efforts on. Uh, there are essentially, you know, in my mind, five types of front end developers. The first type is React developers. So, you know, React front end developers. This is by far the most popular type of front end developer. This is where most of the demand is going to be. This is definitely where uh, the future is headed. There are Angular front end developers. So, Angular is an other technology by Google. This is much less popular, but still, you know, there, there is some, some demand for Angular front end developers. Uh, there are Vue.js front end developers. There's even less demand for that. Then you have vanilla JavaScript front end developers. And vanilla JavaScript just means that you're using just the JavaScript programming language. Uh, for your front end development. And there are jobs like that. For example, this is most of what I'm doing is vanilla JavaScript. But most jobs are going to be React front end development jobs. Uh, next, you also have, you know, front end development using some, you know, niche uh, framework. So that's five types in total. You know, React front end development, React front end developer jobs. Uh, it's by far the most popular kind of job. And so uh, my advice would be choose React unless you have a very specific reason not to. Like you already have a job lined up that uses another framework, then it's fine to learn that other framework. So if you want to become a React front end developer, I'm going to include, you know, links to uh, recommended programs, you know, programs that I recommend in the description box. Okay, so let's get into the things that you need to learn in order to become a React front end developer. The first thing that you're going to learn is HTML and CSS. So front end developers essentially make web pages that's essentially uh, what they make so you need to start by learning html and css html it's not a programming language you know css is not a programming language either but um you know html is going to help you structure uh content on a web page and css is going to help you style the elements on a web page and you'd be really surprised at how many experienced developers are actually you know pretty bad with css specifically and so if you're a beginner and you learn css pretty well you can be pretty impressive during a job interview all right so the next thing that you need to learn is a css framework so as i said you know css is a sort of language that helps you to style elements on a page and css framework are tools that you can use as a front-end developer to style your web pages 
in a very uniform way and in a faster way. So CSS frameworks actually offer, you know, pre-made components uh, and, uh, you know, styling that you can quickly apply to elements on your page to get a to get a pretty great and pretty uniform look uh, very quickly. So there are lots of CSS frameworks that you can use, but I recommend, uh, you know, if you're going to become a React front end developers, then there are three options. The first one is Bootstrap and Bootstrap is a CSS framework that is a bit old at this point, but it, it is still very popular. Like I use it in my job uh, daily. Uh, you have Tailwind CSS, which is pretty popular. Uh, among you know react developers but not just react developers so that's definitely an option then you have material uh, UI which is uh, popular in the react world and this is also uh, pretty good I personally use bootstrap I don't necessarily recommend that you use bootstrap it's very popular but I don't necessarily think it's the best uh, CSS framework and now the last step and you know last but not least you need to learn JavaScript and React. Now, the reason why I'm putting JavaScript and React in the same basket is because I don't want you to focus uh, too much on JavaScript. I think a lot of people who try to teach themselves, uh, you know, to become front end developers, uh, they focus way too much on the programming language, on JavaScript. Whereas when you take a look at an actual front end developer, most of the complexity is going to be in really learning React and learning the ins and outs of React, not JavaScript. Now, that is not to say that JavaScript is not important. It is important because in order to code in React, you need to learn JavaScript. There's no doubt about that. So uh, this is by far the most difficult part of uh, becoming a front end developer, you know, HTML, CSS and the CSS framework. That's all fine. It's kind of easy. JavaScript and React. This is going to you're probably going to have a shock when you're when you start learning. This is where you should not give up because this is like the bulk of a front end developer job. This is going to be JavaScript and React. So essentially, JavaScript and React are going to help you to make your web pages interactive and you're really going to be able to dictate the behavior of your web pages using JavaScript and React. Now, it sounds kind of simple when I say it like that, but it's really not. All right, so once you've learned about JavaScript and React, you should actually build a portfolio. And by a portfolio, I mean that you should build some projects using HTML, CSS, some CSS framework, JavaScript and React, put all of this together and build some actual projects. You will build those projects and expose them on GitHub or, you know, on your personal website and you can show those projects. You can show this portfolio to prospective employers and say, you know, hey, I use JavaScript and React and HTML and CSS and, you know, uh, Tailwind and I built this web page here and this is what I can do. I can tell you from the perspective of, you know, someone who has been in a few job interviews, I have actually interviewed candidates for, uh, you know, developer jobs. The most impressive thing is not necessarily like if you have a certification or anything like that, that's not really impressive. But if you have a portfolio showing your future employer what you can do with actual examples of projects that you have coded, this is pretty impressive and this is the type of stuff that will get you hired. You can actually learn all of the skills that I've talked about for free on YouTube or on the internet or if you want, I've actually included a link in the description box of this video to a program that I think is pretty good. It's like an all-in-one career path for becoming a front-end developer using React. Uh, I want to be totally transparent with you. This link is an affiliate link. So uh, if you do end up purchasing the program, I do end up getting a commission. The reason why I suggest that you use this program is that instead of, you know, going on the internet, going on YouTube and trying, trying to piece things together, this program is actually going to have everything that I've talked about all included in an all in one package. And you just need to do that program and you will get a you know, front end developer job. It's a lot easier than try trying to, you know, piece things together from the internet. Anyway, so that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, then please consider subscribing. I'm going to be putting out a lot more content about, you know, just software development in general. And I'll see you next time.